Let me just jump in real quick. Yep, I can see my microphone. What's up, everybody? This is Delta Tango Mike, and we're here at another live stream. Uh, you're catching us either on Behance, LinkedIn, Facebook, YouTube, or Periscope. Is that all of them? I think I'm missing one. LinkedIn. Did I say LinkedIn? Well, there it is. There's a bunch of them. We're in a bunch of places, and you're hanging out with us here tonight on Monday. And uh, today I'm calling it, what did I call it? There was a word. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot. Oh, sketching and drawing session. Yes, because I come up with a lot of concepts and ideas, and I get I trip over it because uh, every day this is this is a uh, this is what um, what you call um, a blessing and a curse. Like I'm a very creative person. I'm always thinking of something cool, but I don't have enough time to do any of those things. So sometimes I just save things like on uh, on my uh, uh, Evernote, and then I'll. When I'm trying to do something else, I'll remember that's something that I thought of earlier, and so it gets all confusing. That's why you got to write down notes. You can't keep it in your head. Anyways, it's another live stream. We have some amazing special guests, and if you want to join the conversation tonight, you want your voice to be heard on tonight's live stream, then join us on the Discord. There is a link in the description of this video. It's, there is like a 10 minutes or 5 minutes that you have to wait before you can join the conversation once you join the Discord, but... Once that happens, bam, you're in here. You can talk to us. You can respond to the conversation uh, as long as there's no cursing. No cursing allowed. All right. So without further ado, let's get to it. We do have a hashtag. It is uh, First Sketch 2021. And tonight's drawing session is called First, uh, no, it's called uh, Sketching and Drawing Session. And we have some amazing, talented artists. Oh, my God. I'm going to show them all to you right now. One time. Here they go. Oh, that was the wrong spot. There it is. See, I knew I was getting to get it together. <laughs> yes. So on one side, we have Ozari, and in the middle, we have Tamika. Hello, everybody. How are you doing tonight? We good. We good. What's up? What's up? What's up? <laughs> <laughs> yes, we have some amazing, talented artists. And let's take a look at their screens real quick, all right? Let's see what's going on in everybody's screen. Right now, I have my... Uh, Illustrator open and that's because I'm supposed to be uh, changing over to the what I'm gonna draw tonight And I think it looks like uh, Odari has a blank screen. 
Uh, and Tamika already started. She already started. Oh my gosh. I had to get a leg up real quick. <laughs> <laughs> right? Because I draw slow. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. man. Uh, I've seen your streams. You move pretty fast. Uh, once you get going, uh, I see your character just develops. Like, whoa, what happened here? This is cool. Go ahead. Huh. It looks like uh, Tamika is in. Oh, wait, hold up. It switched. But the artwork is, is reversed. Is reversed. Let me see. Let me see. Oh yes. <laughs> All right. Let me fix that right now. See, that's what happens, right? I, I did that. I did that. I did that. Did I do that? Yes. There it is. Now I fixed it. Okay. Now it's fixed. How about now? There it is. So Tamika's in the middle. Odari's on the right, and that's where we are also as people. Okay. Cool. 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 I like it. All right. So let's say hello to everybody who's joining us on B Hands. We got Tom, of course. Tom is everywhere. Golden Rose, what's up? D and RB. And these are the same people that are in the Discord right now. They're just being quiet. They're being quiet, <laughs> letting us do our talk. Thank you, everybody, for joining us. I do have a way to see what people say on Facebook and YouTube and LinkedIn. So if you leave a comment, we'll give you a shout out here in the stream. All right. So without further ado, let's talk to uh, Tamika because she... This is her first time here with us. Tamika, tell us your name. Where you from? Yeah, my name is Tamika Grooms. I'm from the Atlanta area, way out on the east side in the country. But uh, <laughs> I'm in Atlanta, Georgia, and uh, I'm an illustrator, a fine artist, muralist, all that stuff. So, But I like to draw. So that's what I'll be doing today. Nice, nice. That's a good intro. Thank you, thank you. And uh, let's talk to Odari. Hello, Odari. Say hello. Hello. Y'all know me. <laughs> It's Odari. Odari Lorian to some. <laughs> it is Odari Lorian. Yes. Hashtag Odari Lorian. Odari Lorian. Lord have yes. mercy. Jeez. This <laughs> is the way. <laughs> Odari, I need to know where that name came from, though. RB. <laughs> he started calling me Odari Lorian, and it stuck. <laughs> <laughs> but do you drive a DeLorean? No. I don't. I wish I did. There you go. See? <laughs> mm, the Mandalorian riding around in a DeLorean. Right. <laughs> See, that's nice. That's I'm going to have to draw that now. See? There you go. See, add it. Add it to your list. All right. <laughs> <laughs> so tonight, what we're going to draw is, uh, well, number one, we're three, three of us are, all three of us are character artists, meaning we like to draw characters more than anything else. Um, I, I've seen Tamika draw stuff. Yeah, Tamika, I draw you, stuff. Yeah, you do that, like drawing stuff. <laughs> um, uh, I haven't seen our diary draw too much stuff unless it's related to a character. And uh, I like drawing some stuff, and uh, but I really enjoy drawing people. I don't know. There's something about people. And we'll get into that conversation about why do we like drawing people. I think that's going to be the question of tonight. What do, why do we like drawing people? But today, tonight's uh, theme is people, is character art. And so any, if you have an idea of what you would like to draw, you can jump onto it and start doing that. I see Tamika already started with a character. Boom, boom, boom. I like that. And then um, uh, Odari and I, we started a conversation a couple days ago. Or was it yesterday, I think? And we said, mm -hmm. I, and we said something about drawing more people, drawing more uh, emojis, featuring the people we know and we met through the Discord. Mm -hmm. So that's what we're gonna do tonight. I'm gonna pull up the emoji uh, file that I've already been working on. And we're going to start adding some people. And so Tom is already in here somewhere. We have um, RB is in here. And then D and E was here. And I guess he's coming back, Eric. In any case, if you are familiar with the people who, show, who hang around uh, with us when we're drawing, when we're creating. So nobody can see us, our face now. So you guys can relax and start drawing Tamika and Odari. Okay. Um, All right. But uh, if you know of any of the names of the people or the characters and, and folks who are here in the Discord, please, please, please jump in and start sharing what, um, start sharing something about each person that we're going to start to mention. 
so that you can give us an idea of what to draw. So let me show you real quick what I'm talking about. All right, so let's go ahead. Boom, here we go. This is DTM. This is my screen, and this is my artwork. So I started this um, and, uh, last week, and the idea was uh, that Tom came up with, hey, we should do our own emojis. Emojis? How do you say that? I don't know. Emojis or emojis? Emojis. emojis. The young people say emojis. Oh, okay. Emojis. Yeah, and how do how do Mexicans say it? <laughs> like you say it. Like you say it. <laughs> All right, what's up, Brie Price? How you doing? So, and so we started to work on some emojis, 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 emojis. That's right. And um, and the idea was to come up with the own emojis that we're gonna use on the Discord. And so we had a ton of ideas, and we got up and we got down to doing um several of them and that's what you have here today there was a lot of sketching going on and i sketched out a lot of ideas and there we do and that's what we did somewhere along the line odari has been uh knighted sir odalorian <laughs> and so we came up with an emoji emoji I still, I still can't remember. In any case, <laughs> and uh, where there's a Mandalorian uh, helmet with the letter D in his hat as a hat, because uh, Odari is from um, uh, Detroit, but you don't live in Detroit. No, Detroit's down the street. I down live the... in Ecorse. I live by the Detroit River. Oh, okay, okay. And uh, so that's the outskirts or the suburb. You live in the suburbs. Yeah. And as uh, and soon as you cross the tracks, you're in Detroit. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Well, there it is. And so so then there's um, uh, uh, the Odari Lorian. Ah. So now what we're going to do is come up with uh, some more characters that we're going to bring into the MOG. And so, of course, of course, of course. Some of the top two people that we always see in the Discord engaging and sharing resources and even here on Behance and ready to give, give uh, share a helping hand is Tom, DJ Tom LaRock of Miami yeah. and my man RB uh, up in uh, my Bosnia. And Herzegovina, he is in, uh, what's that city? Where, where are you at, um, RB? You're somewhere. Sarajevo. All right, all right. Sarah, Sarajev, 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 so, something like that. Well, that's where you are, okay, which is in Bosnia and Herzegovina. And uh, Sarajevo, there you go. Nice. And, uh, and so that's what we're going to go with. We're going to go ahead and start with these two. Awesome people. We're going to give them their own emoji so that when they uh, share um, a like or a um, some kind of um, uh, comment or um, a reaction on Discord, then boom, you, they get to use their own emoji. So now here is where your brain has to go to work, Odari. Uh -huh. Is that what is it that we put on these guys? What kind of what goes on their face or what goes with their their look with their character? Uh -huh. Let's see. Uh, well, we know Tom is the DJ for sure. The, the, the magic man. Uh, RB is, is the is the genius. Why does it sound like a Wu Tang album? <laughs> <laughs> but yes. Yeah, that's. See, I, I can call. I already got some for uh for RB. Yeah, if y'all familiar with Brainiac from Superman, I already see that. Like, I draw RB as Brainiac. Okay. So RB is gonna be Brainiac. Okay, so the big brain. We're going to have like a big brain popping out uh, hey, out his guys. head. What's happening? What's happening? How are you? Is that Steve? You guys are rocking. 
Oh, what's up, Steve? Mm-hmm. Well, we did not forget about Steve. We just haven't got around to talking about Steve. Because that's another character who is uh, in our Discord. And uh, always helpful in sharing and talking to people. So uh, we're doing your emo- emojis. Emojis. That's what we're doing, uh, Steve. So let me go ahead and write down some words here. So this one is going to be uh, Tom. So music, records, something like that, right? And then we're going to have RB, so brain. Now, you said uh, there was a character, uh, Odari, called Brainiac, or what did you say? What was the name? Brainiac is one of Superman's uh, enemies. <gasps> what? Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it used to be he used to, uh, it used to be his home computer, and then it got smart. So, yeah, DC Comics. <laughs> <laughs> it used to be his home computer. Oh, man, look at that. That is kind of cool. Mm-hmm. Whoa. So he got, like, things coming out of his uh, his head. Mm-hmm. Oh, snap. Oh, I like this. Dang, RB, yours is going to be cool. All right, so let's go ahead and... Um, Get some designs going on for our beat the brainiac. Okay, so let me go ahead and just jump in real quick, do a couple of details here so that I know what's happening. Because as time goes on, you guys know I get confused. I forget. I have a bad short memory. And um and that's because if you try to remember too much stuff, some of the old stuff is gonna fall out your brain. <laughs> <laughs> so uh so yeah you i try not to remember a bunch of stuff you guys laugh you guys laugh wait till you get to be my age and after a while you're like what i, I am your age <laughs> <laughs> you'll be like that's called what <laughs> all right so here we go here we go you guys are welcome to join the conversation here on the discord say hello say something All right. I'm gonna keep that blue going on that uh that RB got going on. Oh yeah, I got ideas. Oh, so he, that's right because he ha- that's his uh avatar and this guy, this Brainiac guy, is blue. Well, yeah. there's some green versions of him, but oh, I like the blue. Yeah. That, yep, you're right. Mm-hmm. So what are you drawing, Tamika? Tell us a little bit about your character. So my friend Sachi. Rome is an artist here in Atlanta and uh, she showed me a picture um, recently and I was like this is inspiring so let me see what I can do with her and turning her into some sort of superhero of sorts so oh um, so yeah nice. all right all right I like it I like it yeah, she good. showed it to me I was like yeah this is this is gonna turn into something so mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Brie Prices reminds me of Frieza you heard of Frieza? Frieza. Frieza Odari. Yeah, Frieza sounds familiar. Is that um is that a Dragon Ball Z? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it, I think so. I think so cuz that does remind me of that. Mm-hmm. Frieza is the he's got white skin, he's an alien. I think mm-hmm. that's who that is. For Cheesa, my Frieza. <laughs> it's the Snoop Dogg version. So uh t- <laughs> RB says I'm gonna remember that Odari next time when I hook Hook up to your PC. <laughs> See, I told you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right. So this is going to be RB. Boom. And then this side is. Uh, here we go. Let me see. That's that. There we go. So this is uh, Tom. Let me type in Tom. Bam. I got to name my layers. Otherwise, I forget what's happening. What's going on. All right. So now Tom. He is into the music and DJ uh, records. Oh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Let's see what Tom got going on. I'm going to look at your profile, Tom. Let me see. Bam. Uh, the glasses. That down there. Oh, Tom. Thank you for simple, simple gold 45. Mm. Oh what! All right, all right. I do like that. 
And then I'm gonna put your face in it. Ah, oh. oh. All right, hold on. I was thinking about that um, as a MOG uh, a record, and I forget why I was thinking that there was something going on that day. I'm telling you, I have like this this very creative brain that's nonstop. I'm always thinking of something, and I was like, "Oh, it'd be nice to have a record," and I forgot why. Why was I even thinking that? So this is a good time to bring it in. Boom. So there we go. So as we're drawing this, uh, let's go ahead and um, um, Tamika, tell us about why do you like drawing characters? What is it about characters? And when was it that you first remember drawing characters? Hmm. Um. Yeah, so I've, I've always liked drawing people. Um, and really, like, I can draw other stuff, but I would prefer to just draw people all the time. Um, I think it's, it's, it's a whole lot of variety if I'm learning how to draw a different type of person or, you know, getting inspiration from something. But, like, no, none of us are the same. So, um, so just studying people studying people and you know really figuring out the characteristics of their physical body and then what what's coming outside of you know through their bodies from the inside out too um because all of that is an expression mm -hmm. so um so i don't ever get tired of drawing people ever yeah <laughs> it's always something different mm -hmm. it, is there something that jumps out at you when you look at a person or uh, and think oh that's a character or there's something that 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 spawns a character in your mind? You know what? Most of the time is the, the way the body moves, like the actual physical movement of the body, not even so much the face and, you know, all the details, but like how a person moves in space. That's the part that, you know, really ca mm -hmm. typically catches my attention. So, because mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm. you can, you can put faces and, and, and different features wherever you want them to, once you understand how to draw people. But um, but how people move is the thing that usually kind of intrigues me. So I like the way you move. Right. <laughs> right. I like the way. I like the way. Um, uh, very cool. Very cool. So, so you're gonna be our DJ for tonight, huh? <laughs> no, that's Tom. That's Tom's job. Tom. Yeah. Tom is supposed to have the um, the um, the sound effects. But because we're on uh, live, we can't we can't really go off the way we normally like to, because you know it's streaming. But if we were just on Discord by ourselves, then uh, we can play everything and anything. Well, they they I mean we can sing. <laughs> <laughs> I guess we can do that. Yeah, we yeah, can we, do that. We got some bars around here, don't we? Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> You guys don't want to hear me sing, though. I, that's, that's, I, I, I advise you against that mm. for your health. I'm retired, so. <laughs> I'll email you all the stuff, but I'm not singing no more. All right. All right. <laughs> so what do you think about this, Tom? Does this look like a record to you? The Way. Oh. The Way. Yeah, you're looking good. Okay, okay. Cool, cool, cool. So there's the... So I'm going to uh, freak it out, but there it goes. There it goes. What kind of color label should we have in the middle? And Your choice. My Selector, cho selector's choice. Okay, and because uh, we'll also have to take into consideration after our uh, last week is uh, take into consideration how emojis look once you start using them in the discord because uh it is a little bit um we can be creative when we're coming out with the idea but once you start using it you're like oh yeah that's tough to see it's tough to see that detail and so we have to take that i think the overall hue saturation and brightness the brightness has to whatever color is used I see that the brightness should be more than 50% of that color so mm. that it shows up well with the gray background. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, that's the thing. And I was thinking about some of the uh, emojis that you've uh, 
giving them a, a white outline, Tom. I was thinking about which, what if maybe they should all have white outlines when we're using the emojis. No, no, I made two different ones. The white outlines are specifically for a sticker mm -hmm. so that there's an, a border. If they cut it, it doesn't cut into the sticker. If there's a miscut and it looks good and clean when there's a border around the sticker. Mm -hmm. And then the other version are the ones where I just brightened color your original color mm -hmm. and i just brightened it so there was more contrast and uh you can substitute those with the original ones okay 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 mm. yeah so we're gonna probably have to review that again because um i get lost looking through um the messages but yeah that's that's good so then so we gotta add make sure they have enough contrast for these gray backgrounds on this uh on the um, um discord I, yeah, because uh, because uh, they look good one way until you start. Like for example, that red, the red you're using now in the record, mm -hmm. my guess is if you made it, uh, if you increase the brightness of it, my guess is it's lower than fifty percent, mm -hmm. and if you went higher, it would pop more. Mm hmm. Okay. Okay. So let's go ahead. I like what you're doing. Uh oh. All right. All right. Oh, cool. Oh, it's gonna be nice. <laughs> <laughs> oh by the way then i'm also into art and music so you can actually try to incorporate it oh well, you're a brainiac that's it we're not doing nothing that's it that's done <laughs> oh yeah oh yeah this is done. Yeah. is already on that that's it yep. so so you're gonna have to take it up with odari come on fuck there we go. Oh, that looks good. That looks good. All right, let's go here and put that uh, right there. Uh huh. Nice. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. And uh, so right now I'm making this go record. I want to turn down that opacity. Bam. There it goes, baby. And then. Uh, all right, so what's your favorite record, uh, um, Tom? What do you think your most favorite record or song or track of all time is? Your top five. Let's let's hear about it. Mm. I know that's tough. And you have to DJ that, too. Dang. Man. Mm. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> mm -mm -mm. <laughs> My head's tilting so sideways right now. Well, when you want to cheer yourself up, how about that? When you want to cheer yourself up, when you want to get hype, when you feel like, you know what? Uh, I need to lose myself into myself and, and feel yourself. You know, what tracks do you pop in and say, you know what? We're getting we're getting a jam right now my, to myself. Forget the world. Beanie Siegel, The Truth. Ooh. Oh. Well, all right. You, are, you, knew, you knew your answer. Beanie Siegel. Hmm. And that's because uh, uh, you like um, uh, reggae? Is that reggae? No, that's hip hop. No, that's, yeah. uh, that's oh, hip hop from the Rockefeller Jay-Z era. Mm. Oh. Yeah. I don't know. The lyrics used to do something to me. What did they talk about? What do the lyrics talk about? What is it that they say to you? They speak the truth. That's the first words of the song. Okay, speak the truth. And that's how Siegel was cool. He was out cold. He says, I hope you get an extra mic and a fireproof booth because you know I'm known to melt a wire or two. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Nice. All right, I'm gonna have to check that out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, and uh, all right. So let me see if we can find that record, a record version of it that has um, a label, and we can kind of find a color or a symbol or something that goes in it. Uh, you said symbol. We could use a. We could use some sort of a leaf. Oh. <laughs> you you and Odari are gonna have to hang out with that one. 
<laughs> no, I'm just messing with you. Let me see. I can do that. Let me see if I can do that. One of those Japanese maple-looking leaves. Is that is that what you call them? <laughs> <laughs> the tree of life. Okay. Fire if you born. Oh, those are kind of cool, and they look very similar. Is that the real? Is the same thing? Is it the same no, thing? No, but it looks very similar, no. huh? Uh huh. Dang. Hmm. It's a funky leaf, right? Yeah, it is. It has the exact same shape. I found yeah, a like red a, one, like a different angle. Yeah, but I think the ends kind of Ooh. get get into a pointy point a little further than the normal ones that that we see that we're familiar with. All right, let's see. Let's see. Why not? Let me try it out. Let me see if I can. Oh, I got ideas. Control S to save. Oh, while well, we're talking, and uh, Tom, we were talking about um, a sharing of resources uh, that artists can use. You know that right now, uh, Corel Draw, and this is to everybody, anybody who's listening, Corel Draw has a contest open until february 19th i want to say it was february 19th and uh and they're giving away a ton of money and uh, you just have to draw on corel draw with corel draw and uh <laughs> and they're given a free uh trial of 15 days which is long enough to go ahead and do the corel draw thing so i don't know if anybody cares or is interested i sh i shared it with a couple people but uh, you guys uh, figure it out. Think about it. See what you think about that. Hmm. I've never used Corel, so we'll we'll see if I, uh, you know, how that goes. That mm -hmm. should be a good experiment, especially if it's free, though. You know. Yeah. Well, you know, at least to try it out mm -hmm. is free. To do the contest is free, and uh, you know, no guarantees that anybody wins. I don't know whoever wins these things. A Corel draw is very similar. Is it? Yeah, yeah. Uh huh. So I'm on the I'm on the site right now, and you can enter your submissions for one of these three categories: illustration, which could be concept art, fantasy art, comic or magna art, fashion design, uh, anything for gaming, fashion or industrial design. The other category is fine art, traditional or abstract paintings based on strong art principles. And the third is photo art, masterfully, masterfully painted artworks that are based on photos produced as keepsake or works of art. There you go. Mm -hmm. All right. By the way, if you do actually go into uh, this contest, it's extremely difficult to ask the well. Yeah. It's nothing like the applications. Mm -hmm. uh, you could get some fast learning. You say you can. It's difficult to ask for help. Is that what you said? No, it's not. No, it's not difficult uh, to ask for help. But it's very difficult to open a Corel page, especially if you've never seen similar application. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. So oh, yeah. To Photoshop or any other application, it's on its own. Mm-hmm. Wow. Yeah. So I, I, that's one thing is that I don't have time to start learning something new. Um. I mean, it's fun to try to answer those things, but it's like, dang, I'm gonna have to invest a lot of time just to even understand mm -hmm. what's happening. And uh, so, but I think it's, I think it's okay to try every now and then. I did, uh, I did enter the contest for, um, what was that? Uh, Clip Studio Paint, and uh, you know, but I, I, I wanted to play around with it. And so that's that. But it's I, I don't feel like I'm gonna win something. Like I don't think I'm that good at it. You know, give me something in Illustrator, I'll I'll knock it out. Right. Mm -hmm. Actually, if you don't work in Corel Draw, it's very very similar to, and some parts and some things are even easier to do than in Illustrator. But okay. Is different category. Mm. All right. Well, there you have it. So anybody who has time. And wants to play around with it, go for it. You should try it. I think people should try it anyways. You know, and tell us how they how they how they feel about it. Tell us what you think yeah, about no. it. Absolutely, sure. Try it. Yeah. 
Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What are other softwares that you use, Tamika, uh, besides Fresco? What were you using before Fresco? So Sketchable is what I was using. That was a, um, a really good entryway for me. Um, it's, it's actually easier to use than Fresco, I think. Um, it's more intuitive. But um, So I use both of those. Photoshop, Illustrator, depending on what I'm doing. So Adobe products. Um, mm-hmm. But yeah, other than that, pen and paper, <laughs> paint. Yeah, you know, yeah. Regular materials. So. And I think that's the conversation that we started to have with uh, Eric when he mm-hmm. was on the Discord is the pen and paper, and uh, and so um, and I remember that uh, like uh, I think I I took a picture of one of your watercolors for a children's book or something that you that you made and uh and yeah it's like that's where it all starts why not yeah Mm -hmm. oh yeah some paper and you kind of gotta you gotta know how to draw um with the regular at least draw with the regular stuff even if you do all digital it kind of helps if you can you know use those traditional materials so you know about pressure and how things feel and textures and all that stuff um Mm -hmm. sometimes it's hard to get that on digital devices yeah. yeah 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 you gotta get you gotta feel your hands get dirty mm-hmm. yep. yeah that's one but thing I don't, I don't think i'm going back though <laughs> <laughs> i don't i don't that that undo button man don't man. exist on paper it exactly. doesn't yeah it does not exist on paper no, right paper is a redo. <laughs> There's a redo and undo. <laughs> On paper, it's always a redo. That's right. Undo. Oh, right, right, right. It's always redo, <laughs> never undo. Correct. Oops. <laughs> yeah. You got to just start over. And uh, so I was at Ikea the other day, and I bought uh, a roll of paper. And I got like two rolls of paper already, but I bought another one. But this time I bought that stand, that wood stand where the paper sits so that you can roll the paper off the roll, pull the paper off the roll and lay it on the table so you can draw. So I have no idea what kind of project I will do with it, but uh, I have it. And uh, because I like I still like paper. I still really like paper. I really do. Yeah, that's my first love. I still use it. Yeah, when you start with it, it's really hard to get rid of it. And so there you go. There you have it. Tom, I don't know what I'm doing. If this is looking right, I'm looking at some pictures on the internet and it's going to be as close as I can make it, I think. I think we're kind of sort of getting I think there. Everybody here tonight is looking good. Okay. We have progress on all the screens. Nice. Oh, yeah. Good, good. Good. So we do it, we do it for, you, for all of y'all. We do it for y'all. <laughs> All right. Are we still in my accent? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what kind of accent I have anymore. I've been I've been in Atlanta for a long time. Mm-hmm. And uh, the Dan accent. Yeah. Be- Dan. There you go. Yo, but Dan, where did you get that Batman uh, mask from? Um. Oh, you can't disclose that. <laughs> <laughs> my butler made it <laughs> <laughs> i can't remember I, I i i think my wife bought it or one of my daughters bought it as a gag gift because they know i like batman and so uh and it's just that first front that the only that front half of the mask and uh and man i i, I don't wear it i just have it and uh, but I've worn it for a couple of uh, um, com- um, comic cons, and just for fun, and uh, and so I keep it. I keep it on my shelf. I don't do nothing with it. And I was like, oh man, let me um, let me pull it out because I was talking about something, and so I pulled it out, and bam! And now people are liking. I think I s- <laughs> who posted the picture. Steve, did Steve do the screenshot? Somebody did the screenshot. Posted it on the on the Discord. And I was like, okay, let me let me go ahead and uh and and sh- and share it on Facebook, and then a ton of likes. I'm like, whoa, you oh, know. Yeah. Mm-hmm. 
Oh yeah. And then I and then I did a little mini photo shoot, took pictures of myself with it, and nobody liked those pictures. They liked the the raw and uncut, you know, the regular just you're cut out there wearing something cool. So, oh man. <laughs> you know Dan, that know. wasn't good enough for you. You what you had to take it to the next level. Yeah. And the next night released three three sketches of different expressions of the real Bat Dan character. Yes, and yes, and that's what happened. That's what happened. Uh, is that uh, um, I was sitting around. I said, "Well, I need to draw something because I'm just sitting here watching TV." And I said, "Well, why don't I draw myself?" And right now the theme is, you know, Bat Dan. So let's do it. Let's do it. So there we go. I'm gonna show those to you in a minute because I also have color versions. So I do have some color versions that I want to show off. So let me go ahead and do that. Let me do I'm glad uh, Tom said something. And uh, and if you go to my Behance, well, if you go to the Discord and you're part of the Discord, then you'll be able to download um, a high res copy of them. I'm going to go ahead and post them in a second. And if you want, I'll share that AI file. I have not exported the AI file, but I, I can do that in case you want to make your own or color them in or whatever you want to do. Uh, so let me go ahead and find them, the pictures. Where did I do with them? Illustrator, here it is. No, <gasps> Adobe you Illustrator Fresco. Somebody is here. Let's see. Uh, Bree says, uh, yep, and an old 78 RPM. Jasmine Grooms got the... Got the... Hey, my, that's my niece. Oh, is that right? Yes. Yeah, she, yes. she, she's watching. She's saying yeah, neat, that, neat. She is so talented. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry. I digress. That's, no, it's cool, cool, cool. Give her a shout out. That's I right. Get excited. <laughs> uh, and then uh, Bree Price says, "Off the wall." Oh, that's your song. That's your track. When you got, when you're ready to feel all about getting into who you are, boom. And then uh, Bree Price has a question: Has anyone else updated their MacBook Pro? And your Pro is crawling now. Okay, so I guess that's a, a, a different kind of question. We'll get to that in a minute. So there are, is my uh, Bat Dance. And uh, and so I drew one of them, and I was like, "Well, what happens when I have the uh, goggles on?" So then I drew a second one with the goggles, and then I was like, "Well, what happens if I draw it smiling, uh, with the big big uh, grin, like uh, the Joker?" And so that's when I did the third one. <laughs> and so uh, so now let's see. So there's the screenshots, and then I colored them in. So I did the Joker colors, and there's the Joker colors. It's got the green uh, top and the purple beard. And then I got uh, I did the other two just regular colors, and uh, and so uh, then okay okay now how do I let me see Tom it's, it's, I got too many things going on, on this computer to show stuff off. Let me see if I can get to here Discord. Boom. Oh, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. I'm going to have to get my phone and log back into the Discord cause so I can show you what Tom has been doing. Tom is wild. That's a wild man. Come on. <laughs> Come on. There it is. Open Discord. Come on. Open Discord. Yes. Yes, log me in. Come on. All right, so now let me go ahead and pull up the Discord here on my screen. Boom. And then work in progress. Uh, so here's uh, Tom. Tom likes uh, remixing stuff. So he remakes RB's staff. And uh, so so we've been uh, uh, coming up with stuff for the Odari Lorian. And so there goes the staff for Odari Lorian. And then we have, uh, that's uh, RB's. He did a blade. There he goes. Boom. That looks cool, RB. And then, uh, but let's go. And there he goes. There's Tom's work right there. So Tom has been getting busy and coming up with uh, some artwork for um, featuring the stuff that I put together. So somebody's typing real loud. Who is that? Steve. Steve, you're typing real loud. All right. Yeah. Uh, I, yep. Yep, yep. Oh, you can. Okay. Uh-huh. It's all good. It's all good. Uh, oh, that, that took me about an hour to get that. <laughs> 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 all 
Sorry for the loud typing. No worries. And so then, uh, and then Tom did all these color versions. I like this, Tom. This is super cool. The way you are all uh, like uh, giving them background. And then he did, uh, I think this is the city of Atlanta. I recognize this as the city of Atlanta. And uh, I like the, the green, red uh, background. This is super cool. And so what I was doing, I was I, was, I grabbed one of them and I made it my uh, background. And there goes some of Tom's work right here. Tom gets down. We're going to have to get Tom on a stream one day. And uh, he's going to get busy. Yeah, dope. Mm -hmm. Very oh, yeah. dope. And so uh, let's see. That was it. And so, um, so other artists sharing their work. And RB was coloring one of my designs. There you go. Nice. Nice, RB. Good job. Okay. And then, of course, Presonification pres sharing his work. And so is Odari. So back to the Batman. So then Tom sent me. I told him, look, I made a, a, a wallpaper out of it. And Tom sent me the, the real, real uh, wallpaper. So I can put it on my phone. And that is on my phone right now. That is exactly what's on my phone. Let me go ahead and go like this. Boom. And uh, let's see if I can go like that. There it is. That's my wallpaper. I made it my wallpaper. It's super cool. Super cool. So there you go. That was uh, a quick insight to some some of the uh, bat dance. And so, you know, I guess Odari is the Odari Lorian, and I am the uh, bat dan. Bat dan. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> <laughs> and then that's the kind of fun that we have in the Discord. So if you want to come and hang out. Join us in the Discord, and we will have fun together. After this stream, I'm going to stick around in the Discord for a while so we can talk. And anybody who wants to share their artwork, talk about what they're doing, has any other questions, feel free to show them and uh, share, share it. Here's a quick look at Tamika's artwork. She's getting busy. Nice. And it's all pixel brushes, looks like. It is. It is. Mm -hmm. Hey, Dan, you know what I was just thinking about? What's that? You remember that 24-hour comic book yes. event you had? Mm -hmm. That was intense. <laughs> <laughs> we, we spent 24 hours without sleep. <laughs> no sleep. And we were just um, uh, drawing a comic book. It's called the 24-hour comic book challenge. Comic, 24 hour comic book challenge or something like that. It's the last yes, word. I can't remember if it's challenge. And, uh, and so we did that at Atlanta tech village in Buckhead. They gave us the whole top floor to work with. And, um, and so we started midday on uh Saturday and we went all the way to midday on a Sunday. And in the beginning, everything's cool. It's like, yeah, yeah, we can do a comic book, 24 pages or whatever. In the evening time, we're still partying. We're having a good time. Here comes the middle of the night. You're like, eh, well, you know, I don't know if we're going to make it. But early in the morning, we're beat. Like, hey, can nobody stay up no more? Like, you <laughs> are tired. You're hurt. And you're like, okay, we're going to try. We're going to try. And uh, so it was a good, it's a good hang, <laughs> a good hangout exercise. <laughs> it was fun. It was fun. Yeah. <laughs> but it was not easy at all no it's not easy it's coming up with a story idea character concepts uh luckily we had um my man uh herbert um uh hewitt yeah uh what's his name hewitt um not herbert hewitt um i'm having a brain fart too yeah um uh, and so he's a comic book artist who's really good at what he does and uh and he he gets paid to do comics and so he uh so he was our um our leader and uh who who had the most experience doing comics and so he did the layouts he did the page breakdowns he helped us figure out the 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 script and uh and he did most of the sketches and then it was our job to go over the artwork and finish it off 
And uh, oh my God. Yeah, yeah, we need to do that again. That's awesome. Yeah, it's it's very cool. It was very great uh, um, exercise, and uh, and learning a lot like quickly. You learn a lot real quick, and, and collaborating uh, with other people too. Mm-hmm. And compromise, you know, collaborate and compromise because you have a good idea. Somebody else has a good idea, but you can only drop one. So you got to <laughs> figure yep. out a way to compromise it. Uh, Jasmine uh, Groom says, "I don't know if I could do twenty four hours of drawing." Yeah, you try. <laughs> I want to try that with a children's book just to knock it out real quick and see if I can do a, a whole idea from start to finish. I, I'm, I'm pretty sure that it's possible, but just not continuous 24 hours. So maybe like uh, three days of eight hours each or four days of six hours each, uh, something like that, because um, it, your brain turns to mush after a while. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm hardcore man. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> you guys ever now? You know, there's a show. There was a show. I forget where it was. Netflix or or Prime, where the, the people stayed up for 24 hours counting quarters, and then at the end of the 24 hours, they enter the stage and they compete, mm-hmm. uh, doing um uh, exercises with quarters, like uh like um uh, little. Um, physical tricks with co- dealing with quarters, and uh, and and through every round, somebody gets eliminated until the last person. And uh, and some people, when they get eliminated, they don't care. They're like, "I'm ready to take a nap. I'm ready to go to sleep. I don't care." And uh, because they stayed up for 24 hours, so check that out. I forget the name of it. Uh, I'm sure I can find it somewhere. But that is crazy. What you got going on, Odari? What's happening over there? You got the circles and the head. Mm-hmm. I'm, uh, he almost looks like Dr. Manhattan. Yeah, he's too blue. The blue yeah. the blue is, is too blue. It needs more like an aqua. Give it a little green. Add a little green to it. Yeah, I got to do something because he's looking. Because mm-hmm. I was looking at him like, wait, wrong brainiac, dude. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So Dr. Manhattan's smart. Yeah, yeah, he is smart too. But he needs to put on some clothes. Um, yeah, <laughs> uh, so this is the one I found that's kind of blue. And uh, and you can look up in the next uh, 10 seconds when it actually makes it all the way through uh, to um, Behance. But, uh, but yeah, so it's got like a, like a al- mm, aquamarine green. Uh-huh. And so I like that. So I do like that. And then there's the Hulk green that I found also. So uh, try this. And if you're just joining us on Behance, we have 31 people watching us live on Behance. You could also join the discussion at on uh, the Discord page. You just have to scroll down on the Behance page and click on the first link for the Discord and join us on Discord. That's right, Tom. Tell them. Tell them. Yeah. They need to know. I don't know what I clicked on. All my screens went away. I was scared for a second. I can't see, I, I can't see Dan on my screen. I can see the Odalarian. He's in there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I you can can't see, see me. Chat. Yeah. I can't see your artwork. I can see uh, I can see Kamika's artwork, and I can see Odari's artwork. Yes, that's right. Yep, and nobody turn on their camera so that you don't disrupt my my layout. Um, uh, that's the dangers uh, right now. But yes, that's right. So if you want to see what I'm drawing, you have to go to uh, Behance and see the rest. And but after yeah. after the stream is yeah. over, I can share my screen here too. So I will share it. All right. So I have a record. Um, let me see what to do here. We got uh. Tamika slowly working on. Let me go ahead and show the screen for Tamika. So you got that light green so that you can do the sketching. Yeah, I was thinking about that. That what is that? That non-print photo. Yeah, pencil. non-photo yeah. blue. Uh huh. Uh huh. Yeah, I, I think I just like the way that looks. So. Um, <laughs> All right. That's the reason why I still use it, even though. I'm not using a pencil. Yeah, yeah. Well, I still do that anyways, just because it's good practice, you know. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Start with a blue sketch, uh, sketchable p- sketching pencil or red. Uh, yeah. Either one of those two are cool to me. And so, uh, what's that post say? What's it, what, do, what do you think that post says uh, for Sachi's character, Tamika? What's going on? So, the picture that I'm using as a reference, um, she was modeling and um, the way she was turning, it, it felt very magical. Mm. And like she was, uh, I don't know, um, I don't know, doing conjuring something. That's mm-hmm. the word I guess I'm looking for. So. Mm-hmm. Um, so I'm trying to think if I'm going to use my typical um, movement that I use in my my drawings with mm-hmm. the colors that kind of blend and flow everywhere. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh, so so at least that's what I'm feeling from this, at least. Okay. So the, so there's movement there, and that's why the hair is whipping mm-hmm. across the body like that. Okay, I got you. I got you. Got yeah. you. Very cool. Yeah. She right. whips the hair back and forth. She whips the hair back and forth. Whips- <laughs> <laughs> hey, y'all, y'all know Willow Smith says she didn't want to sing any, sing anymore, perform anymore after you know that age of doing that that song. And uh, mm-hmm. I think it was because that that song probably gave her a headache because like, how do you do that dance and you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. 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 She In the words of DJ Khaled, she played herself. She did. <laughs> she did. <All> right. <laughs> we had neck injuries from performing that song. Right? Yep. <laughs> so, uh, uh, um, where, where part are you working on now? So, I do like that blue, oh, Dari, a lot better. I mm-hmm. like that blue. It's a little better. So now you're doing some of the shading. Yes. Nice. Uh huh. Uh huh. Very cool. Very cool. Now I got a question. Should I? Should I? Uh, should I not go so berserk on it for the uh, emoji? Yeah. Uh, no, not a lot of detail because it's gonna get lost. Cause it's gonna get little. So the shadow. So the shadow's good. Um, mm-hmm. and then um, uh, but the brightness is is great. Uh. And mm-hmm. I think I don't know if you're gonna do any detail connecting those those uh, circles. Um, I might draw circles around the circles. Okay. Versus and how, the lines. How'd you get perfect circles? I did not notice that. Because there's a tool to make it. <laughs> On <laughs> Underneath the, s- the uh, bucket. <laughs> you can make perfect circles now. I ain't even noticed that. It's right under the bucket tool. What? Yes, sir. What What are you using, Adari? I'm using Fresco. Okay. Yep. All vector. On the subject of the color blue, there was a story not long ago where some scientists have discovered a new shade of blue. It's quite blue hmm. and rich. So I just put the link and the picture in the sketch together text in there. And you can oh. see the blue and then read the story if you feel like it. Oh, yeah, definitely. Pretty cool. Yeah, Meanwhile, Tamika has me looking up uh sketching non-photo blue pencils and i i've never wanted a pack more than right now these are crispy (laughs) (laughs) oh snap so i never paid attention to this but it's right there you're right you're right and so now you can uh, you know what i never done that never never done that okay okay Mm -hmm. and then you get the perfect Circle there. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. That's cool. All huh. right. Huh. I never really. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I use mostly the brush. I make everything with the brush, and I think about it. All right. Very cool. Yeah, I try to draw the circles, but sometimes I just like, okay, <laughs> I'm not that good. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So RB gave you a, a hex color to try. Yep. Uh, I'm looking at it. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. Oh, yeah. Nice, nice. Now, we're going to go ahead and uh, touch on hardware real quick because uh, Bree Price was asking, um, has anyone else updated their MacBook Pro and is your Pro crawling now? Anybody have MacBooks? Nope. Not 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 me. Dated mine in 2012 last. (laughs) (laughs) 
to really uh, <laughs> it has not been updated for that exact reason. Yeah, because it doesn't run uh, Big Sur, right? Your 2012? No. Yeah, because I have no. a I have a 2012 and it won't update either. Yeah. Um, Bree Price, mm -hmm. what I suggest is that you um, you may have to back up all your work and then uh, reset your computer, reformat it. And uh, maybe RB has an answer. Uh, but I have an old uh, iMac. It's, uh, it's a 2015. So it's not that old, but it has some problems. And, uh, and I had not been able to update the OS for a while. And so I was already like two uh, versions behind that. And it was uh, the computer was not working so well to the point that I couldn't even update Creative Cloud. I couldn't run the Creative Cloud. And... Mm -hmm. uh, and so it was just the OS, though. The computer has a problem where it won't restart itself during uh, during the installation. And uh, so I can never get the OS to um, update. And then I tried it like a month ago, and, it's, and surprisingly, Big Sur did install. And, uh, and so it's running a little bit better, but it's still... It, there's something wrong with my computer anyway, because that's how I got it. It was used. I was used. I, I traded a tattoo for the computer. And, uh, and so I've never been able to get it to work the way it should and, uh, at its full power. So I really couldn't tell you if Big Sur is the cause of that. So you may want to just reset your, uh, he said, uh, Bree says, I am up to Catalina 1015. Oh, well then I don't know what's the problem. Uh, and, and the problem could be that you are on Catalina and that you have an old computer. It's a Mac 2012. Oh yeah. Well then that's the problem right there. Uh, I think Yosemite, you should be able to get on, uh, whichever one's the one right before Big Sur, which I don't know what that is. I forgot. So I'm trying to find that blue color, but I don't see where you can put in PMS numbers in Fresco. Um, in the color? Yeah. I think you can. Well, I don't know. Maybe see. Let's see. There's the color. Oh yeah. Uh, USB sliders. Um. RGB. No. No. So then, what I suggest is that you um, pull up that color on Google. Find a find a, one of those color palettes swatches, uh -huh. and then uh -huh. drag and drop that picture into Fresco, or bring or save that image to your computer mm -hmm. and then pull it in through the fresco um uh oh. yeah place uh i pulled up the image already i could post it oh yeah mm -hmm. color image and then that may help um yeah so sorry Bree. i don't know what else to tell you uh the 2012 is already uh passed its uh updates uh, OS updates. It will not update. I have a 2012 uh, MacBook Pro. It's a beautiful machine. 16 gigabytes of RAM. Uh, 500 gigabytes of SSD. I bought it brand new. That's one of my, my only Mac that I bought brand new. Brand new. Came in the box. Ordered it from Apple. Actually did buy a Mac Mini later on. Brand new. But that was, that was my uh, a most amazing computer. Nowadays it's just not up to this task anymore. And unfortunately, well, that makes it nine years old. I mean, you know, you've you should have got everything you could out of it by now. And uh, which uh, brings me into yeah, uh, I got it's time for me to buy another Mac MacBook or a Mac Mini, and uh, that's what I was checking out earlier. Ooh, that's why I need some donations. I need to set up that little donation thing. Past the past the what are the what are the deacons pass in the church? <laughs> 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 oh man the oh, donation plate or something uh um because uh yeah man it's uh you get to a point where you know certain devices certain machines just ain't gonna do it anymore you guys you guys should check out tamika studio she got a fresh brand new machine yes I love it too. <laughs> <laughs> why, did I, why did I wait so long? <laughs> yeah, right. Your life changes. You're like, what? Mm -hmm. No wonder people are doing more stuff than me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, so that's how I'm feeling. Uh, I'm going to be doing a lot of live streaming with uh, Cinemaker. And, um, but now Cinemaker, with the streaming app, now uh, runs on a MacBook. And, uh, and so I want to be able to uh, run that software. But this iMac is not going to do it. It's not going to do it right. Uh-oh, Sachi Rome is in the house. She says, nice, and a plate. She said plate. What what's that mean, Sachi? Is that an inside joke? Plate. And then she says. Not the collection plate. Oh, the collection plate. Oh, that's right. She was talking to me. Collection <laughs> plate. <laughs> Thank you, Tom. Thank you. Um. Uh, all right. Let's see. What should I do? So I got the leaf. I got the gold. I got the shadow. I feel like I should have some highlights. Some highlights. And we're almost done with this. This is going to stand for Tom. Mm -hmm. I remember a collection plate when I was young and going to church. It was a, it was a basket, but it was on a super long stick. So the guy could stand <laughs> on the side. Oh, yeah. The the stick. Stick. All the way down. Because uh, he didn't trust you guys. He didn't trust all <laughs> He didn't trust you guys. Like, give it back. <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah, we're coming out of there with enough money for a coffee and a donut. It's great. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, thanks. I needed that. Yeah. <laughs> well, a friend of mine and I, we used to, we didn't steal from the plate, but we used to sneak out during the service. And, uh, and there was a uh, Dairy Queen behind the church. So we go sit at the Dairy Queen and eat burgers. And wait for the service to be over, and then uh, and so and then we go to the bathroom and wash up and try to get that the uh, the burger smell, the fast food smell off of us wow. before oh, yeah. walking back into the church. Wow. Mm -hmm. And then I lead the church in prayer after that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, those are the days. I see. cousin and I tried leaving our bicycles outside the church and then skedaddling off and then like no I, I, you saw our bikes at the church we were there oh snap <laughs> <laughs> if you saw my bike then you saw me see yeah my mom was like I, didn't, I saw the bike I didn't see you inside I'm like no nah, we were in the back over in the side oh you wow you couldn't see us the podium was in the way mm-hmm Mm -hmm. <laughs> we were being quiet. That's yeah, better too when you're uh, later on when you're working in an office. You bring an extra coat, jacket, or something, or a hoodie, and you put it on the back of your chair, and then you just get up and you walk out for a while, go out, mm -hmm. get coffee, whatever, and keep the your jacket on your chair. Oh, he's here somewhere. Mm -hmm. Must be doing something important. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> doing something important, sitting in the back counting chips. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So I have a record and um it looks okay. I think it looks okay. Uh Odari is working on um RB Brainiac. And uh let's see if we can find something to draw on Steve. And we got another 30 minutes on this live stream. Why not? Let's see. Anybody who knows um, Steve, what can you tell me about Steve? Well, I'm really tall. You say you're really tall? Is that what you said? Yep. Yeah. yeah, six foot seven. What? That's tall. <laughs> That's pretty tall. On purpose? Ooh. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you well, my dad told me his secret, but I, I probably could shouldn't say it here on the on the air. Yeah, probably not. <laughs> don't be don't be nasty. No, 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 it's funny. But it's just a little dirty. Okay. Ah, <laughs> uh, let's share it on a Discord. There you go. Look, you like cussing. You can't tell that story. Mm-hmm. <laughs> let's see. Let me go ahead and put this together. Okay. And uh, so you're tall. What do you like? What do you like, uh, um, um, uh, Steve? What kind of stuff do you like? 
And what do uh, you... I like blues music. I like old blues. Mm -hmm. Nice. You photography, right? Yeah, photography. Uh, a little bit of graphics, but I'm a terrible artist for drawing. I just suck. I look like Stickman. Ah. So you have an eye. A different kind of eye. Yeah. Designing and uh, doing composite stuff with photographs. Oh, nice. Mm, I like that. That's cool. Um, yeah, the people who can do um, uh, photo manipulation. Oh my God, is that what we're talking mm. about? Yeah, yeah. Mhm, mm mhm. Mm yeah, that's awesome. Yeah. Okay. Now, me, I'm like not that. Good glass of whiskey or bourbon. I like that. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. All right. Let's go ahead and grab some. Mm. Oh, I can hear. I can hear you say something. Our Steve. I said mm -hmm. that's a very specific kind of art, bourbon and whiskey. Yeah. That's a cold beer. Whiskey glass might be good. It's simple. It'd be a, it would work at small sizes. Okay. All right. I'm down yeah. with that. I'm down with that. Let's see. Nice. Uh, let's see. Yeah. Maybe yeah. tilted. Maybe just slightly tilted, like it's. A, you know, like you, you reaching out for a cheers. Oh, oh yeah. Personable. Mm -hmm, he is mm -hmm. popular. He's generally a good guy. Yeah, he's down under. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He's down uh, under. Hey, you have to draw him upside down, you know, because he's down under. Ah! That's crazy. <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah. Putting gravity. <laughs> So uh, let's see. I'm looking online. I see this the whiskey tumbler. It's a rock glass, old fashioned mm -hmm. glass in the low ball, aka the rocks glass, the old fashioned glass, the low ball. The most common of all whiskey glasses. Due to its wide rim, the tumbler isn't ideal for nosing, but it doesn't need to be. This one's for filling with ice and whiskey of your choosing. All right, all right. Yeah, it's pretty simple looking. All right, all right. I'm gonna roll with that. Mm, and like yeah, and there you go. Everybody gets to have an emoji, emoji, so that when people post comments or uh, work in progress or whatever, or they join the Discord, then you have something that you can welcome them with that is unique to you. And uh, and for those of you who are from in other parts of the world, um, what I would like to do is to share the files with you so that you can print your own stickers locally in your country because uh that's a very good idea then yeah right that's yeah, that's yeah. nice yeah i want you guys to feel like you 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 can get the same stuff we we do out here but um but there's no shipping necessary you know yep besides nowadays shipping really takes too long mm -hmm. oh yeah yeah, no kidding. Mm -hmm. Dan, I apologize. I think I messed up your um your stream. Yeah, you did. I'm sorry. <laughs> Fresco started acting crazy on me. Do you close it? All right, it's all right. Let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. Right. When you bring it back. Bring yeah, it back. It's it's, it's, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm gonna take over the screen for now, and I'll let y'all. Let you uh, get it together. We only got 30 more minutes. Okay. 30 more. I have it back up, but mm -hmm. um, yeah. I can see your, your art and you very clearly. Can you feel it looks good? Thank you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's in the, in the, in the Discord so he can see. The people on, uh, on Behance can, and Facebook can only see what I show them. Yeah. Uh huh. So if you guys out there in the world want to see what's happening, you can join the Discord. There you go. That's that's Tom. Tom is uh, on the case. <laughs> that's funny. Tom is on the case. Oh, I like that whiskey glass. That's looking good. Yeah. 
Yeah, so I'm trying to find the right. Uh, well, actually, I know what I'm going to do here. I was going to try to find the right color, but it's going to have to be a combination. So here we go. Hmm. Give it a little more space on the sides like you have on the bottom. Oh, okay. It squints down really small. It'll, it'll be, it'll be uh, better for contrast. Yeah. You look at some whiskey in the glass, and sometimes you see just shades of like golden brown and a little bit of like a, like a slightly brighter orange and then a darker. You can see like shades in it. It could almost be like a gradient. Okay, so I'm going to give it that golden gradient of liquor. I spent a lot of time staring at whiskey. <laughs> <laughs> Do you uh, smoke cigars, uh, Steve? I have been known to smoke a cigar here and there. Not a lot. Uh -huh, uh -huh, it has uh -huh. to be a good one, though. Okay. Good season. Yeah. So I I would I would sip uh in the um, at my um porch, and uh and smoke a cigar. But uh, mm. but sometimes uh, I drink coffee most of the time. <laughs> That's good. Yeah, because yeah, I want to do more things in the day. Uh, yeah, yeah, I want to do more stuff. <laughs> oh, man. There we go. Boom. Got that. Maybe oh, I okay. should. I should give it like a, I'm looking at this uh, glass here. Let me see. This is the glass that I'm looking at. It's got some oranges, some um, reds. I guess the red is more towards the top. It's got some ice. Well, there goes another one right there. I like that too. So okay. I'm going to play around and see what happens. We got okay. 44 people live with us on Behance. Sweet. Hey. Sweet. Sweet. So, uh, Sachi Rome says, looks great. Jasmine Groom says, I really like making glasses digitally. Whoa. We need to see your work, Jasmine. You see yeah. something? Yeah. Tamika's been yeah. keeping you secret. Jasmine is really talented. Mm -hmm. Very talented, so. We didn't we didn't know you had a uh, a talented family. Oh yeah. Yep. Most of us draw or do something else um creative, so she got it honestly. <laughs> nice. That's cool. That's cool. You've been hiding her though. <laughs> I'm trying to get her to come out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We friend we're a friendly bunch. Oh, she says, I'm just shy. <laughs> <laughs> That's understandable. Artists can get a little crazy, mm -hmm. but fun. We 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 have fun. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. All right. Let's see. All right. Cool. 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 Let's see if I can get Ooh, okay. Get some tones here. All right. Oh, yeah, I know. I know what I need. I need some yellow. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, mm, it's not per it's not perfect, but it's coming out okay. All right. Bam. Good old Tom. Good old Steve. Steve, uh, uh, turn off your microphone when you're typing. You type really fast. That's unusual. <laughs> Steve, that's a keyboard, not a drum set. Easy on it. <laughs> <laughs> Easy. Easy, man. <laughs> See, this is why we got to have music. Oh. Because, yeah. yes, because, man. And my brother, he's, he texted me today. Said he's gonna do that thing with the uh on YouTube. He's gonna make some beats. He said. I told him to say if you make them, you know me and Dan and use them. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So beautiful. Yeah, yeah, 
We're gonna start throwing it up. Throw it up, throw it up. So this guy started a uh, he he started a YouTube channel doing uh streaming gaming games, right? Then as time went on, but he's a musician, so he likes to make music, but he didn't make any music. Then he decided to uh uh make some music and start sharing it online on YouTube and letting people use that music in their streams copyright free. You can't download it, you can't use it other than play it from the browser. And so so uh so he started doing that. Then he started paying people for their music and uh and putting it publishing it in his channel. And now he has quit streaming um games and uh and, and regular streaming to focus only on publishing more and more music because he is making thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars a month just with yeah, the Dan, music. I'm on the same page i'm trying to solve that problem right now um i spoke to a producer uh a pretty popular producer this week and i asked him if he on an experimental level would give us an hour of his time so that he could join us on the stream and and run his beats that he has in his library live on the stream at low volume so we have original music and the producer who made the music who's a very creative person hmm. online with us while the music could play in the background as an experiment yeah yeah you know, it, part of it is so that we can have, you know, cool music playing in the backgrounds. But I think the big, big part is that our, uh, uh, music artists can now market their own music and, uh, and get paid from it. Even if it's uh, through just regular YouTube plays, because uh, there's no there's no limit to what you can do. There's publishing no is where it's at. It's yeah, about publishing, setting up as a as a new producer, um, a publishing company, mm -hmm. so that you can publish your music and then you own it through either ASCAP or BMI, mm -hmm. and then you can move forward and continue to make music and license that music that could be paid and paid and paid many times over for use on different platforms. That's right. You wanna mm -hmm. wanna be paid, baby. That's what I want. I'm interested in pulling my catalog of producers together to begin to work under a new umbrella to make, example, lo-fi hip-hop beats. Yes. And start to get like 10 producers, each to give me at least 10 to 20 beats. They make over the next month. And mm -hmm. then we start to get a catalog. And then we license these uh, beats out to other creative platforms like to Behance and mm -hmm. then Behance could use our catalog yes for for a fee mm -hmm. uh, to of course move forward um and have original music and, mm -hmm. and keeping it fresh and keeping it what people want whatever mm -hmm. wherever the tide is going yeah. musically or whatever's trending yeah now you know that old boy he let people use it for free he didn't charge them anything but it can't but it counts towards his uh uh play uh, play numbers and so youtube so so since he monetized it through youtube then youtube is the one giving the money for that mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so that's a way to where as long as you let people play, use that music to play it um but they have to play it off the browser either from the spotify you set up where you mm -hmm. get your where you get your your monetization or your uh youtube uh, I don't know. That guy is on a ton of platforms, and wherever you play it from, it don't matter. It goes towards his count, and mm -hmm. uh, and then people. Um, so then he'll monetize. So Tamika, turn on your. Um, did you share your screen? Did you do yeah. it? Oh, you did. Or am I can't see. Oh no, I I can't see it. That was me. No, wait a minute. I can, I don't see it. Yes, Bring it back. It says it's up. Yeah. Yeah, it's working. Hold on, hold on. Let me. Uh, I, I got it. I got it. Yep, yep, yep. It's. Uh, I have to go back and set it up. Gotcha. Cool, 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 cool. Go ahead, Tom. You can jump in now. There it is. This Tamika. 
So yeah, we gotta find ways to 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 for artists to create and monetize while I think one thing you're doing, what you're saying is that we also pro bring something to the community at the same time. And I like that. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. One thing that uh, Tom mentioned to me this week or weekend, and we're going to get to that because uh, I have a couple conversations going on right now with sponsors is that to find sponsors so we can uh, give away stuff, share things, give things. We'll see. We're going to work on that. I, I really want to find ways to get um, um, art companies involved. And mm -hmm. I have my sights on one company now. We we just uh, agreed to some things today. So mm -hmm. I need to let that play. And then the next step is going to be some swag. Oh, yeah. To give away. That's to right. Four, to like tonight, the 48 people that are live with us right now. Right. Wow. Right, so stuff like that. The stream, mm -hmm. Throughout the stream, if they stay with us, maybe you know we could give things out randomly uh, at different parts of the stream. That's right. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. And we could make the community work for it a little bit, where we have a challenge, where you know it might not even be a hard challenge, just it, to be eligible for one of the prizes. Maybe you just have to post something that's a work in progress, mm -hmm. and. We don't want to put pressure on anybody, but we will, we do want to create an open opportunity to begin to share your work in case you're feeling like, hey, I've never shared my work, and I don't know how to even begin to share my work, and I'm, I don't really have a Behance profile yet, but coming here um, with the creative genius Delta Tango Mike and here on the sketching and drawing um, <clears throat> channel on, on Discord, um, you can feel free to begin to open up and explore sharing your work with us. We look forward to it. Correct. Yes. Yes. That is correct. It's exactly right. And so, so it's so, a so way to to uh, reward engagement, encourage encourage engagement, mm. and uh, and I like that. And so. Um, uh, you know, even uh, like that's like, right. So, so the, that right now, if you're in the Discord, you could uh, submit your address, mailing address, and get free stickers. That's already there. You know, so little things like that. We're gonna work on trying to find some partnerships that we can bring on. Nice. Oh, this nice. art. I'm seeing everybody putting up some great stuff here, Tamika. That's really cool. I love the way that lady's looking. Thank you. Thank you. And Odari, that blue guy is looking. I don't know if he's a good guy or mean guy, but he's looking pretty cool. <laughs> Thank you. The Brainiac. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, so he's good. He's not a good and guy. Of course, it's got, it's got glasses. Great. Right. I'm loving it. Making me thirsty. <laughs> <laughs> Tell him, Odari, he's not a good guy. Oh, he's a good guy. He's <laughs> <laughs> It'd be troublesome though if he gets pissed off. Mm-hmm. <laughs> the brainiac. He helped Odari get his computer together the other oh. day. I think that's called uh Rossi. <laughs> yeah, man. I I was amazed. I just sat back and watched him do it. The mouse is moving. I'm not touching nothing. My mm -hmm. son was like, how is that working? <laughs> That's a great way. That's good. The easiest way to fix a computer is to come in remotely and fix it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I, I did something similar, Odari, to a colleague in Sacramento, you know. And afterwards, he said he made me dizzy, you know, like looking at the mouse and all the application moving fast on the screen. You know? <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. You already know what you're doing. Yeah. That's all. Yep. I already know. Okay, let me see. Let's add some details here. We got, uh, let's see. Uh, hey, D, thank you for saying hello to Jerome. I appreciate all of you guys out there engaging with everyone else in the chat. So that way we can do our thing. Jasmine says, I like the, that purple. So good job on that yeah. purple. Odari, word up, word up. 
All right, all right. Um, uh, let's see. Um, uh, thank you, D, to say hello to Jerome. Hello, Jerome. RB and Tom are on the B hands also. Eric was uh, is on the B hands. He never came back on to Discord, which is okay, but you can always come back later. Golden Rose in the house, and uh, and so that's some pretty cool folks that we have on B hands uh, jumping in. All right. I wouldn't want to be Golden Rose again. Everybody Something is going on. It sounds like somebody got their radio on. What's happening? What? Uh, That's Steve. Steve, turn off your microphone, hello? Steve. There it is. No, I'm not doing anything. It's, that wasn't no you? Sound here at all. Hmm. Uh oh. Well, it's gone There's now. Some birds outside. <laughs> got some birds outside, but I don't think they're singing any songs that you know. <laughs> <laughs> well there was a, a lot of um like uh some radio feedback maybe i'm the only one who hears it no i, I, hear, it. It. I hear it mm -hmm. it's like a, we're, see, we're, we're 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 streaming on the a fm am radio turn up my mic for a sec and see if it's still there somebody got some things plugged into their computer making noise that's all no, it's gone. Uh, it's gone. There it is. It's gone now. Okay. Good. Hmm. Good. It's okay, Steve. We still like you. Oh, cool. <laughs> <laughs> You're still cool with us. Nice. All right. So let's go ahead and get some colors here. Uh yes. Colors. 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 Color. Oh yeah, yeah. That the was my that, that's my jam. It's one of my jams. Oh yeah. So I asked Tom about his song. We didn't ask anybody else, and there goes that sound again. Let me see. Tom just uh, and uh, Steve and RB. So there was something. I, I was trying to rec see where that noise was coming from. All right, maybe it's Odari because we always know that Odari don't know what's happening. <laughs> uh, <laughs> wow, that's heavy. <laughs> oh, Dari likes breaking the internet. <laughs> so, um, so Tamika, tell us about the song that uh, moves you when you want to move yourself. Move yourself. You know what? I got a playlist that I play mm -hmm. um, when I'm working, and it's just got a whole bunch of inspirational songs on it, so that I can. You know, when you're struggling creating something and sometimes you don't know how it's going to go. And yeah, I don't have one song, but I have a whole playlist that I play over and over again. My kids hate it. It's like, <laughs> you play that song again? Those, all those same songs again, yo. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So, <laughs> Tamika had a better answer. I should have answered like her. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> even know how you came up with an answer because there's so much good music out there and and you play if i told you tamika you wouldn't believe me yeah man i said i told you i dj'd on saturday night right uh-huh the crowd was so hype that yesterday was sunday i stayed up the entire night last night and rebuilt new crates i must have went through like every song from 2009 to 2016 all the big, all Drake, all Drake stuff from the beginning, all Little Wayne stuff from the beginning, all classic, classic jams we all love, and um, I came across that instrumental late last night, so mm -hmm. it was the only instrumental I came across, and it popped out. That's how I came up with that one specific song. Hmm. Yeah. All right, all right. So, uh, um, um. All right, so Tamika has a playlist. Uh, Tom has a song. What about you, um, Odari? What is uh, that track that you're going to bring out anytime you want to lose, lose yourself in yourself and be yourself? Oh, man, everything. From Sade to Nirvana to, to Rakim to, man, Little Dragon. I, I listen to everything. I listen to classical everything there's you, no limit to what i listen to you put on some classical so you can rock out 
Yeah, yeah classical is cool. It's soothing. You get up first thing in the morning and play some classical, I bet you you'll feel good all day long. Is that right? Do you yep. play that while you work? Yeah. Mm. Oh, yeah. Now, the only thing, let's see, I, the only country I like, I like Willie Nelson. I like Johnny Cash. That's it. I don't listen to nothing else country. I do like some country music. Mm-hmm. Good stories. Mm-hmm. I listen to, to Bone Crusher. That's country. <laughs> <laughs> Bone Crusher country. Yeah, yeah. You came across that song last night. I played it in its entirety. I'm going to play y'all some songs um, that I, I have from the 90s hip hop. And Bone Crusher's in it, and it's like, dang, like that is some hardcore, hardcore ATL. Even though it came out in 2009, not in the 90s. Which one? What song? Bone, Bone Crusher. Crusher. Bone Crusher? What came out in, yeah. the, in, in, in 2009? I ain't never. Or, Go ahead. Or like maybe even 2011. Go ahead and lie. Go ahead and lie, because you don't know about <laughs> ATL. And I got <laughs> mad. I got mad at some people. Uh, uh, and they kind of, I kind of left that group uh, at the end uh, early uh, last month. That's like 2004. You talking about both? Cr- yeah, it had to be. Yeah, well, never scared. Oh yeah. 2004. Okay, so all right, so I'm gonna go on a limb and say Bone Crusher, Never Scared is 2004, which I think you're right, or 2005. You're absolutely right. Mm-hmm. And I'm gonna it's say 2003. Yeah. 2003. <laughs> I'm oh, going to say picked. it would be a challenge for Dan <laughs> to mm-hmm. pull a song from Bone Crusher from 1999 or earlier. Ooh! Ooh. The, yeah. the bad part is that we're on on uh, uh, live right now, so I can't play it for you. That's true. But I have it because I knew him in yeah, the 90s. <laughs> That That's dude's been I'm rhyming for a job. long time. <laughs> oh, you got I got you, baby. I got you. So you bridged the gap with Bone Crusher four years before his popularity. Oh yeah. 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 <laughs> I know the people who he was rhyming with. I know. I I can call Bill Crusher right now. Right. Wait, wait, where's my phone at? <laughs> he might not answer. He might say, What's up, family? <laughs> What's up, family? If you do that, we're going to turn this artistic stream into bringing celebrities on during every stream, which I have no problem with. <laughs> <laughs> Let me show you my YouTube, and you'll see. Tamika was there. I was there. Bone Crusher came to my art studio and, um, and did the intro to my videos. Nice. That was insane. It. It's insane. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And uh, you can kind of see uh, Tamika's head a little bit off to the side when uh, when I did the recording. Let me go ahead and grab it. Let me see. <laughs> Let me see. Oh, I like the yellow. That looks nice. There's one interesting celebrity who you wouldn't know, or you wouldn't think was good with art right, as well. But there's a comedian called Kevin Nealon. He used to be on Saturday Night Live. Ah, uh, yeah. Uh, Mm-hmm. So he's been just putting stuff up on um, Instagram lately, and he's an artist. And he's really, really? Good. Like he's done pictures wow. of his friends, like just on you know, other famous people and stuff. But also anything. I was like, wow, he's got talent. He's really good. Oh, wow. The Tango Mike and another blob. I gotta check that out. Yeah, never would have guessed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I like Kevin Elan. He's funny. Yeah, he's a funny guy. Uh oh. Let me see. I'm trying to find a video where he's. There you I go. There you go. Something we can play from Atlanta. Okay, hold on. Here we go. Into achieving your next creative go. career. Here it is. Yo, this Bone Crusher, and you're watching the Art is King podcast. Ha! I love the good music. That's him. So this is in my art studio. And Tamika was sitting, and you can't see this, Tamika, because it's going to be only on uh, on Behance. But Tamika, 
To, uh, so Tamika was sitting back here to the right of the screen, and she's cropped yeah. out because uh, when I edited the video, I, I, I zoomed in really close to uh, Bone Crusher's face. But yeah, Tamika was sitting there. I was on um, uh, uh, Bone Crusher's on the other side of my desk, and we just sitting there recording stuff uh, for fun. And I said, hey, man, you're going to uh, – oh, I did an interview. I actually did an artist interview with uh, Bone Crusher and um, – and then at the end, that's when I asked them to do a couple of, uh, what do you call those little drops? Um, drops. Yeah, they're called drops, huh? And, uh, and, uh, and, uh, and so he did. He's a cool dude. Very cool dude. So there you go. That's Bone Crusher. I'm after, in the after, uh, after party, in the Discord, I'll play you some 90s. 90s, baby. Crunk. 90s music. Oh, my gosh. Atlanta. Crunk. Atlanta yeah, got, was a party yeah, town. I got one for you, bro. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Dan, yeah. I didn't even I didn't even have to go to Atlanta. Atlanta would come down to Miami Beach and represent like this. Take, yes. take, take it out to Escalade Pre, the Tumble Rock Show, the best in hip hop and R&B. You know what it is. Show. Oh, nice. <laughs> <laughs> you know, yeah. Jermaine would slide through. Mm-hmm. I believe it. That's looking good. Yeah, you like that? Yeah, uh, yeah. Germ uh, there was a club that burnt perfect. down in Atlanta yeah, in the West great. End. And uh, I forget what it was called. 559? Five, five, I think it was a 559. Five, and so my tattoo shop was down the street from there. So we used to spend a lot of time. And we knew the managers of the club. So we was always in there hanging out um, in the club. Man, ooh, wee, the 90s. Those was a good times. All right. Now, Tamika, were you were you home working on your art, or were you out in these clubs with Dan? I wasn't. Well, I wasn't out in the club with Dan, but I was out in the club. <laughs> right. That's why I knew what year that song came out. <laughs> Those were the good old days. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. So I'll that's gotta yep. be Steve's. Uh, that's Steve's microphone, Steve. It's a again. Yeah, if something's going on, there we go. We good. All right. Um. Uh, Let's yep. Do a test. Steve, sit up. Adjust yourself. Adjust yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Clear. Stretch. Clear your throat. Adjust the microphone. Adjust the headphone. We want a clear signal all the way from New Zealand. Oh, New Zealand. I know it's beautiful there. Yeah. So this uh, is me, and I, it's just the microphone on my laptop. And this is the first time I've heard anybody say they can hear the typing too. So there's something wrong with the settings in uh, Discord, I think. Yeah, it's uh -huh. yeah. You probably had the wrong microphone on. That's all. It's all good. Bree Price says five five nine. You must remember them days, Bree. Um, a Jasmine Groom says Dan, that. Uh huh. I'm sorry, Dan. Your mic um, may be a little hot. Maybe you might be able to lower your mic as much as like 15, 10 percent. Could be, yeah, yeah. All right. And uh, is and is that because the way it sounds on Discord or Behance? No, it's when you're when you're when you when you get excited. Oh, I can I hear the I can hear the mic crack a little bit. So which oh. means your your level probably could come down just a bit. Okay. A bit. We just want the most clarity for everybody tuning in. Yeah, yeah, right? yeah, yeah. I get uh, loud. Okay, hold on. I know exactly where to touch that. All right, right here. How about now? How about now? Yeah, boy. Mm -hmm. ATL, baby. Steve, can we get a sound check on the one and two? Okay, one, two, sound check. Just turn my input volume down a bit. No, you can go up, Steve. You're, you're, you're a little bit low. Okay, check. There we go, 93%. Mm, good. Okay. We'll leave it there. And we got 53 people watching us live on Behance. We've had over 300 people come through so far tonight. Nice. On a Monday. That's a lot. That's really good. <laughs> Everybody owes us $5. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Gotta nah. charge get in the club. That's right. That's right. <laughs> get crunk, get crunk. In nineties, I didn't go to the club in the nineties. Oh, you I missed was, that, man. Well, I was at Morris Brown. I went to Morris Brown in ninety seven, 
and I went to the art institute at the same time. So mm -hmm. if I wasn't in class, I was partying on the yard somewhere. So, or going to the games because you know Morris Brown had the liveest band. I mean, so I hung out in the college. Yeah, nerds. <laughs> I hung out with Dan too because I met him in the nineties. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we did meet in the nineties. I was trying to make you cool, man. That's when we both had hair. Yeah, we did. We <laughs> sure did. Odari had locks, and uh, I had long hair. Mm -hmm. Yep. Dang. You That's... had what? <laughs> I had locks. Dan had long hair. Like passes on his on his uh collar. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yep. I sure did. So uh uh Steve, thank you for answering the question online. Damien is asking what is your name? And uh Steve's like, there's three artists here, Dan, Tamika, and Odari in the house. And uh so we're getting close to the end, and uh I want to go ahead and give a moment to uh Tamika to share some links with us. If uh, people want to find you online, where do we go, Tamika? Yeah, so my website is TamikaTheArtist.com, and it's T-E-M-I-K-A, the artist spelled the normal way, dot com. And most of the places you can find me for my illustration work is going to be under Tamika the Artist everywhere. And unless you're on Behance, it's Tamika Groom. So you can check me out there. And I'm trying to go live on the weekends, um, fresco and chill. So if you are bored at home and you want to watch somebody draw on TV, or I'm sorry, on TV. On TV, <laughs> yes. Right. Right. I am working on it. I'm working on it. <laughs> but if you want to watch somebody draw, I'll be on Behance at Tamika Grooms. Nice. I like that. I like that uh, 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 title. So it's very cool. Thank yes. you. Thank you. Awesome. Good job. Uh, Odari, where do we find you? Odalorian? No, Odari Lorian. <laughs> I love that name. Thank you, RB, for that. And you can find me at, at Odari Art on Instagram, Behance, Facebook, um, and I think LinkedIn has the same thing. Yeah, you can catch me there. All right, very cool, very cool. Well, I am Delta Tango Mike, and you can find me anywhere on the uh, internet. Instagram, Behance. Uh oh. Uh oh. That's uh -oh. me again. Mm hmm. Uh, I'm Delta Tango Mike, everywhere on the internet. Delta Tango Mike. Uh, find me. Let's connect. Let's talk about art. Join the Discord. The Discord is free. Come on through. And, uh, and we, we like to have fun and talk about art. I like to talk about the business of art. I really enjoy being an artist. Uh, very soon I'll be able to share a couple of great um, deals that I'm locking in. Oh my God, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I'm so excited to be an artist and get paid to draw. And uh, so, yes, yes. So, so anytime you want to talk about the business of art, come on through. Uh, let's go ahead and give a shout out to our artists. Look at your cameras, everybody. This uh, we got Tamika in the house. Let me see which side is on. Yeah, that's it. That's that way. Tamika, we got Odari. I am Delta Tango Mike. Thank you very much. Let's go ahead and take a look at their artwork one time. There it is. Nice, nice, nice. I think uh, Jasmine was giving you more props. She says she looks magical. Very cool. Yeah, it's very <laughs> cool. Very cool. <laughs> All right, let's check out check out what Odari got. He has a Brainiac with some purple uh, brain waves in the background. Yes, I like that. That's all right. That's pretty dope. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then, uh, and of course, my work. You know, it needs no introduction. I do what I do, baby. This is Adobe Illustrator on the desktop. I wanted to draw on my uh, Cintiq. Uh, Tamika and I have Cintiqs. Odari has a Huan. And uh, that's what I want. I want a hue on too. I don't know, just for fun. Anyways, uh, thank you for hanging out with us, everybody. Let me go ahead and go here. This is Delta Tango Mike, Odari Art, Tamika the Artist. That was Tom and RB in the background talking. Steve was in the house uh, talking also, jumping in and uh, giving us uh, some uh, engagement with all of you online. 
Thank you to Brie Price, Jasmine Grooms. We're going to have to check out your work. Jasmine yeah. Grooms, Sashi Rome was in the house. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. And that was the, it on Facebook. Then, of course, on uh, Behance, we have uh, RB, Tom, Steve, Damien, Dinesh. What's up, Dinesh? Uh, let's see, let's see. Uh, D, Jerome. I may be repeating names because uh, I can't remember stuff. Eric. Golden Rose in the house. Word up, word up. Appreciate you. And everybody who stopped by today, we had a, a, lots of people said, um, Tom. Tom said there was a ton of people who stopped by the stream today, and that's cool. So check us out uh, every Monday, Wednesday or so. That's the schedule that I want to keep. Uh, ever so often, I will have some guests with me, like tonight, drawing with me. And we're just here to have fun, enjoy yourself. Remember that. Behance is a place where artists come together to share their work, build community, and get feedback. And along the way, artists like myself, Tamika and Odari, and many others like us uh, found a way to make art our career. So we always work on challenging our talents, challenging our skills to get to that level uh, where we earn the money that we want to earn. That's the art business. But at the same time, don't forget to enjoy yourself. You have to enjoy the art. That's why we started drawing in the first place. We like it. We enjoy it. So remember that. Enjoy yourself. Okay. Without any more talking, thank you very much for coming through. Thank you for hanging out. Until next time, this is Delta Tango Mike. That was Tamika. That was Odari. And we'll see you soon. Stay tuned for more. Join the Discord. See you later. Peace out.